When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid And a life is a nightmare If only they knew Then maybe I need to stay to break Oh, let me call you back Let me, uh, let me call you right back Cause this life is just calling up Like that, just like that Smile, smile, smile I'm like a sleeper Give thanks to God. The Lord is with us. What can a mere man do to me? Papa! I will come back to you! Let me you walk the earth because I let you. I'm your God now. Slaves are free. We must get to Baton Rouge through this swamp. Lincoln's army is there. There are many ways to die in a swamp. I must get to my family. What if you don't come back? Your papa is going to be back. Do not ever stop believing that. He's persistent. Running, hiding, surviving. in New Orleans, first day of emancipation, big day of meetings, uh, right off the plane to the production office, okay? That's how I do. All right, some judges... making this movie. It's haunted. What's going down? Six hour rain delay on the first day. It's like the ghosts of the Confederacy. 
Adversity from the grave. Background. And action! So what just happened? Uh, we have a lightning delay, so anything you need to clear the set and uh, seek shelter. We have another 30 minutes because of lightning strikes. And he said, Are you kidding me? <laughs> Ripped his wig off. <laughs> no. No, he was just kidding. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh this is a leaky freaking yeah. situation all in there. Started again? It just started raining again. Every time there's a, a lightning strike within five miles, they have to hold for 30 minutes. And then if it strikes again within that time, it Starts over. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna be on French hours on this. <laughs> you want to get under here, Jazz? Uh, no, I actually, know. you know what? Yeah, no, you're good. I, I, you're I'm good. gonna get a video of you walking the dog. Okay. 30 minute lightning break. I'm not sure about that rule. I guess I'm not sure about that rule right up to the moment that I'm positive about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stand by, picture will be next. If you come in, if you come in, he does this. He said, eyes down, boy. Peter gives him a look. Which tells him this is this is not the same type of man. Copy. Here we go. Rolling. Background moving. Background. Eyes down. Eyes down. Everybody, on this particular take, we're going to introduce an explosion. That's ridiculous. It's a broad daylight. So we were on the set. Lightning. 30 minutes. Lightning. 30 minutes. <laughs> this is horrific. Going back. So we were on a 45 minute, 30 minute break because of um, heat. So we were in a heat break. Then the heat break was just over. We got called back and then lightning struck. Now we're on a 30 minute lightning break. We're making the heart of darkness right now. Yeah. The making of apocalypse now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> End of week three. How you feeling? Probably two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Counts as week two and a half. We're probably two weeks behind, legitimately. Like, seriously, not even joking. We're probably two weeks behind at the end of week three. Out of the frying pan into the fire, the swamp's gonna be a mess. I don't know how Judy's gonna survive. I drive in heaven and fire. Ooh! This is a real location. 
Don't touch that too. That's poison. I think it's poison. Yeah, but you have to have your that on it. Okay. You can have all this nature in Philly. It's a little bit too much nature for me. Are there any snakes in here? What? I thought you said there weren't. Louisiana Swamp, no snakes, no gators. It's sitting on you. <laughs> Action. 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 Swamp is the right word for what that is. It's a swamp. Can we dull that a little bit? I can take the tip down as much as you like, sir. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. We're gonna do the head under. Uh, that's for the scene with the, with the uh, alligator. So they rebuilt that section on stage. So there's gonna be the stunt with the alligator attack and all of that. So they rebuilt it. So I get to do my apocalypse now shot with my head under the water. It's a spiritual practice. That's so how you got to embrace the universe, yeah. you know? Whatever the, whatever the universe deals you, you say. Okay. Okay. Wasn't expecting that, but okay. sure. Good. How's that? The movie will never come out, but the documentary about how horrific the process was is going to be number one. You have to laugh to keep from crying, Jazz. Not that I would cry about a movie. We're headed back to the set on the behind the scenes entitled The Ghosts of the Confederacy. How emancipation was cursed and never released. We're five miles away, all through the document immediately. We're wrapping for the week now because of hurricanes coming. So we had lightning shutdowns, heat shutdowns, COVID shutdowns, and this is our first hurricane shutdown. Everything that could possibly be happening to keep this movie from getting made keeps happening. So we've had four lightning shutdowns and a hurricane shutdown just today. Yeah. I believe personally it's the ghosts of the Confederacy. The ghosts of the Confederacy didn't like that too much. That cloud doesn't look too good. That looks gnarly. quite a, an undertaking. We're back today. One day of shooting after the hurricane, and we are 10 weeks behind schedule right now. I don't think I've ever been in this position in my career before. <laughs> Never quite been here before. In, in Hinduism, they call the material world Maya, right? So Maya is how you describe the behavior. It's, it's a female deity, basically, she's a trickster that throws stuff at you in the material world, and she thinks it's funny. And she's undefeated. Rolling. Background moving. Part of the 
the reason Antoine wanted to come to Louisiana is because it's where the story actually took place. We were gonna shoot in Georgia, we decided to switch and come here and shoot in some of the actual locations. Yeah, it's funny as an actor how, how like, set and wardrobe will, you know, fill you with the spirit of it. Voices are in the trees, you know, it's like, you can feel it in the soil. When you're telling a, a true human story, there's a, a power that you draw from the meaningfulness and the purpose of what we're trying to accomplish. And as, as difficult as it was, we all felt missionized um, in a way that is very rare in, in this business. The history was they would do, uh, they would clear three plantations a day. They said black soldiers were lazy and weren't smart enough. You couldn't give them guns because then they would just kill anybody. You know, so to be in sync, regimented, disciplined, soldiers marching, taking the plantation. Antoine played Amazing Grace just to get everyone into the mood. What we're doing here is more important than just the movie. Every one of you guys playing a soldier is playing somebody real. Somebody who really gave their life. You don't get to make these kind of movies that often. It's about something real. It's about something that really matters. This is a devotion to the people that fought and died for the right to uh, pursue our happiness. It was supercharged and yeah, it was one, one of those moments uh, I uh, will not soon forget. Just a little bit. Sorry. 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 It's okay, Dad. Sorry. Sorry. When you're spending every day on your own, and here it goes. I'm just a kid. Oh, let me call you back. Let me, uh, let me call you right back. Like that. Like that. Just like that. Smile. 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 Come here. Oh, you didn't get it. There you go. Oh, let me call you back. Let me, uh, let me call you right back. Like that, just like that. Smile, smile, smile.
I'm like a sleep. Oh, sleep. You didn't do it. There you go. Thank you.